The Central Bank of Nigeria is expected to offer 117 billion naira across three maturities at the primary market auction today. The Apex Bank is also expected to intervene in the market through its bi-weekly retail auction. Joining me to highlight what else we can expect from the market today is Dayo Ogundare, a team member at Treasury, for, member of Treasury coverage rather at Access Bank. All right, unfortunately we don't, okay, I, I think it's a tough phone interview this time. So Dari, thank you so much for your time today. If I can just quickly get your perspective on on the auctions that we have seen manifest over the last few weeks and what that tells you about what is coming as we approach the MPC meeting in just over a week. Um, thanks, Wally. So um, we got a TNA auction um, today where the central bank is going to offer $117 billion. And just based on where rates have sort of closed in the last two auctions, um, they've They've usually held the 91 and 182 day tenors um, consistent, but on the 364 days, we've seen an increase um, ever so slightly from 8% uh, to 9.75 in the last one. And so, in this auction, we're anticipating that it will go up um, slightly, possibly around 10% um, to close. Um, earlier, I was speaking to Jan from Fitch, and he was making a point about the relative stability we've seen in the foreign exchange markets. But my question for you is, what factors, in your view, um, could elevate that risk in the short to medium term? Are there any, for example, huge uh, seasons of huge demand for foreign exchange that we can anticipate? I've heard things like foreign investors moving out money to pay dividends and things like that. Y your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, I mean, you are correct. So the um, demand continues to uh, weigh the supply, but I think the um, central bank has remained consistent in the supply to the market, um, particularly to the FDI's um, foreign direct investors, who they resume um, selling selling to on a on a weekly basis, and even in the local markets as well, like we have today with the retail SMIs window. So, I mean, there's always. Um, the demand currently will outweigh the supply, but I think um, the supply has been consistent and um, will remain so in the short to medium term. As we approach the MPC meeting, and I mentioned it's just in over a week, um, what do you think are the key considerations that could surprise the market in terms of the decision making of the MPC? Um, I, I, I think that there is almost a clear signal now that that whole era of low rates is over. Uh, we're back to trying to manage inflation, and that could mean higher rates. I, I think that, for me, is, is quite clear now. But overall, what are your thoughts moving into um, a week from now, the MPC meeting? I think there's a lot that they have to take into consideration. Um, inflation um, is definitely one point um, rising that has continued to rise in the last couple of months. Um, also, the borrowing that the uh, the central bank is um, look or the federal government is looking to do in the next couple of months, we definitely will see um, rates go up, which should help inflation. But at the same time, I think they've got to just look at the overall stability of the economy and um, take that into consideration as well. So, um, personally, I, I I think that all parameters will be held um, just because of um, the uh, status of the economy and just not trying to rock the boat as much. The DMO is holding a bond auction next week. Very quick view on that. What can we expect? Um, yeah, so that's correct. Next week, um, 150 billion on on offer. Um, these are reopenings of um, existing existing bonds. Um, the market is definitely looking towards um, towards that, and hopefully, um, the rates. Um, you know, given what we're seeing in the secondary market, we do expect the rates to sort of um, go up again. Um, and then investors will then just look to sort of um, cherry pick those and sell, um, take, do profit taking on this.